Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 11 of my quick and easy guide series and today we will look into what was supposed to be looked into that is uh, the decessive rarity ships from PR research let's get straight into it we're not gonna waste too much time and uh, we're gonna start with PR2 because unfortunately PR1 does not have any decessive rarity or UR ships so PR2 gonna go straight into FTG because you although she is no longer the strongest battleship in the game by far I mean she has been gapped by pretty much all the UR battleships in my opinion <clears throat> that came out unfortunate but she is still a pretty solid when it comes to mobbing and just overall being a very solid choice. I still think she's worth getting, especially since now you don't really have to farm prints for her. You just need coins and regularly investing coins into her and you will be very satisfied with her performance. I still think FTG is so worth it. You can use her as a mobbing ship, even as a bosser if you want to. I mean, of course, if you don't have all these fancy new URs like uh, Bismarck's Way and uh, Masashi and you know all that, then of course FTG is a very, very solid option and you should be using her. So yeah, just, yeah, perfect. Just get FTG, 100% uh, recommended. Now for Azuma, Azuma is in a weird place right now. Since when Azuma came out, she was the only large cruiser in the game, but now is not the case. And not only are there now multiple large cruisers in the game, they are all, in ways, better than Azuma. Some are better because they don't require as much investment. For example, Kronstadt, since you just pull for her and boom, you have her at full power. Unlike Azuma, where you have to shell in, well back in the days at least, you have to sell in a lot of time getting a prince, but now you have to invest coins. And in my honest opinion, you can skip Ozma. Ozma is really expensive for what she offers. It saddens me to say that because I actually really like Ozma's design. And she's not a bad ship by any means. But she's way too expensive for her own good. And you probably don't have that many resources. And if you do have that resource, then you must invest it into something that is worth the time and coins so you can skip Azuma but that doesn't mean she's bad that just means she's just not worth the heavy investment that she requires anyways let's go to PR3 PR3 is uh, the place where I'm mostly saddened because Drake used to be the highest damage dealing vanguard ship in the game back when she came out and she has been very popular and everyone loved Drake but now Drake has been unfortunately completely power crept by some newer uh, DR and UR uh, heavy cruisers so in my opinion Drake is no longer worth it either even after her fate sim she is just not that good anymore it pains me to say that as well because I loved Drake and I loved using Drake she used she was the most tankiest she dealt the most damage wonderful but unfortunately now you just have better ships also i apologize for the dog in the background i really can't do much about that anyways let's ignore the dog and uh, move on to pr4 now in pr4 this is where the fun begins because both of these ships are really good and you should be going for these two at all costs especially hakuryu though this girl this lady over here with her big sword is not just for show she is pretty much the highest damage dealing aircraft carrier in the game she is insanely strong and she was already very overpowered and you know manju decided to give her a fate sim which made her even stronger so you know that's good, right? So, there is no way you should skip Haku, like, at all. Just get her. Just 
invest all your resources, dump everything into her. That, that came out wrong, but you understand what I'm saying. As for Igor, same case in my opinion. Yes, she has been seeing less use because of uh, two certain ships that one of them I'll be talking about in PR6, that is. <clears throat> Wait, PR6. Uh, yeah, yeah, PR6. Uh, and uh, yeah, but she's still very solid. Her slow from her torpedoes is still a very good option if you don't want to be too bothered with uh, time adjusting your aircraft carriers. So Igor is just wonderful. Yeah. These two, in my opinion, top priority. Get them as soon as possible. Your fleet will be empowered immediately. You'll see the difference. Igor is tanky and she deals quite a decent bit of damage not as much as one uh, might see from these newer ships but in terms of tankiness Igor is very tanky so honestly very worth it even now and her utility is good so Aku and uh, Igor priority top top priority no questions asked and as for PR5 here comes another top priority ship Plymouth no questions asked. She has made Plymouth paired with two other ships have made Helena less of a requirement for certain content other than, you know, meta fights. I mean, especially this current meta fight. I hate this fucking boss. Anyways, Plymouth is really good. Really good. For a light cruiser, you would be like, huh, a light cruiser? What? What is she gonna do, huh? Well, she has a really f good buff, and she deals a lot of damage, like, she deals more damage than one might think. With her gun, or without her gun even, she deals a lot of damage, very high damage vanguard, and fairly tanky, you know, as much as a light cruiser could be, right? And her utility is insane, so Plymouth is just perfect, she's also the three top priorities of course you can i mean you know these are dr ships they're all pretty good so uh, you know just get them one by one but you know start from plymouth or haku plymouth igor you know but you know just pick your waifus i guess anyways uh as for breast not so impressive but still in my opinion better than ozma now, don't shoot me, okay? I know what I said. But, Breast has just better tankiness and, you know, in my opinion, better damage against medium and heavy armors. As compared to Ozma, that is. Ozma is still uh, the queen when it comes to light armor. But yeah, Breast is really good. But, of course, like I said, not top priority. So, don't bother too much with her just get your top priority ships first and then go for breast and if you get Kronstadt in the meantime then you don't really have to go for breast either now you have a large cruiser that you didn't really have to invest months into and you just got her and boom you know if you have Kronstadt don't 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 go for breast or Azuma but if you don't have Kronstadt and you really want a large cruiser breast is your best bet Okay, let's move to the final one, that is PR6. So final one for now, that is Kearsarge, aka the Bochi the ship. Anyways, Kearsarge is really good as well, but not top priority, but definitely a very small step below top priority, because this is my personal bias, because I freaking love Kearsarge. I use her as my main DPS in my Operation Siren mobbing fleet. And oh, she's just just perfect because she's the only aviation battleship you are in the game. So hell, I'd say she's the only. There's no SR either, so she's the pretty much the only you know, UR ship that's uh, aviation battleship. So she's really good for what she is, and uh, even for meta fights, she has seen use. She has seen uses and exercises as well. Very versatile and very good. Not top priority, but definitely one step below. Now comes another 
drop party and I'm gonna butcher her name but Hein Hindenburg I'm not gonna say that name again but yeah she is also top priority Heinberg, I said her name again, didn't I? Combined with Unzin, which is unfortunately a UR ship on a limited banner, and Plymouth. These three are insanely powerful. They 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 basically removed the importance of Helena. Because, you know, Helena is very RNG heavy and you know annoying to use sometimes. But these three removed the use of Helena. And they they have insane, insane vanguard damage. These three combined are just crazy. Like the amount of vanguard damage. Like the last meta fight, not this one, the, the last boss. Yeah, people just used these three in the vanguard and boom. Just absolutely demolished the boss. But yeah, Heidenberg also top priority. I would say she's below Haku. And... Uh, Okay, how about the other one? Is she below Igor? E no, Igor is definitely below her. Uh, I mean, we don't want to go here. PR5 and Plymouth. So, Haku, Plymouth, Heidenberg, and then Igor. My top priorities for UR ships. Or about decisive rarity or DR ships. So, yeah, this is all. And. I didn't go into too much detail, I kind of rambled a bit, but still, this is all for today. And I know I talked about the Operation Siren video, but unfortunately I have exams this entire month. So I am not gonna invest into a project that's going to take time out of my studies. Because you know, studies are more important to me. So that video will be next month in June, where I will have my two months of summer vacation. So. Expect more videos from my in-depth guide and maybe even bi-weekly uploads. Hopefully. <clears throat> Depends if I get a part-time job or not. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this video helped. So if you have any questions, please comment down below. And uh, I'll see you all next week. Goodbye, guys.